Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, so it is Global and JP release day, right? We had the banners on Global, um, the dual Dokkan Fest, and then of course we had the Topo banner on JP. Um, of course, I do want to cover the Global Celebration info, um, talk about things that are missing, where they might show up, and you know, blah 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 blah. Alright, so let's just jump right in. The Explosive Power Decisive Punch campaign uh new stage of dokkan events and new easy areas will be available i guess we should probably just start by talking about the movie uh two red zone so there is a second movie red zone that eventually does come out i guess we could just look at it on the dokkan info uh site right here um which is definitely a good red zone does have um a lot of difficult fights in it uh it is this one right here um, now, this red zone drops. Uh, on JP, it came with a celebration, and then it bled into the countdown. Um, the countdown to the ninth anniversary. So, looks like Global is going to get this probably sometime in the middle of June. Maybe at the start of June, um, or at the end of June, somewhere in there. Um, and then it's going to be the several fights. Who is it? It's uh, Tao, um, Dr. Wheelow. Broly, Bio Broly, Herudagarn, Beerus, and Golden Frieza. Uh, certainly, Herudagarn, Beerus, and Golden Frieza, those are what I would consider, like, real, like, fights. Um, Beerus, you know, is a bit of a gimmicky fight, um, but it is very tough. Beerus, of course, is a boss that has uh, the territory mechanic where, you know, a boss, you know, it, it's a thing where you want to use your domain to override it, but I, like, th this is, like, it's a crappy implementation of that because Broly, Future, Gohan, Fusion, Zamasu, all of these domain characters, I guess even the free-to-play Trunks, their domains are like super deep in the fight and Beerus throws his territory out usually pretty fast. So it's not really a good like fight to display how domains can override it, right? Like, in order to do that, you'd need to be fighting a boss that has a territory deep in the fight. Um, but yeah, th this should come sometime in June for Global Dokkan. All right, so uh, new SSR characters are in the Dual Dokkan Fest, 350-hour super multi-summon discounts, uh, Dokkan events, easy areas, burst mode. Um, then the ending song is played... Um, until the 25th, that's right around when Golden Week is going to begin. So let's see what we got here. So, special missions, login bonus. Here's the Dual Dokkan Fest. Now, you get the global exclusive tickets here. These obviously are very, very good. The global exclusive tickets, right? Let's just go ahead and scroll down and we can go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, this right here. Like, this is... In the past, I definitely would have told you guys... Like, you kind of have to summon on this. Because if you're going to be playing Global Dokkan, which is perpetually behind, you need to take advantage of the global exclusive, like, buffs or advantages that you guys would have, which is this. But now that Global is going to be moving to catch up with JP, um, with the crazy ninth anniversary coming up, with another Dual Dokkan Fest coming in April for Global, which is probably going to have significantly stronger characters than Herodogarn and Dragon Fist. I, I, I would say lightly summon or don't really touch it at all. Um, if you have to summon on one, I would certainly recommend Herodogarn, um, because Herodogarn is probably going to be, like, for villains, he's way more important, and he's on weaker teams, and there are just villain missions, right? Like, against Beast Gohan, Cell Max, all these fights... Um, I think, uh, you know, this guy's great for the Red Zone movie Boss Rush, right? Like, he can get caught, but he's going to be a better option for all these missions than most um, extreme int characters that you would potentially run. So, uh, this guy is definitely very solid, right? Like, this Rudigarn. Whereas Dragon Fist... I mean, you know, he's probably a little bit of a tighter character, probably a little bit better than Herudagarn. To me, it feels like this guy dies way less than Herudagarn, but a lot of that is Herudagarn is on teams where he does kind of need to go in slot one, typically, whereas Dragon Fist is, you know, a complimentary piece. But the super easy A, uh, AGL Dragon Fist, who just recently came out on Global NJP, like, bro, this guy 
like covers a, a lot. Oh, here, this guy covers a lot of uh, what this guy can do. Like I don't know. Like I, this guy is easily better, right? And he's got a standby with a scouter and stuff, which is so good. But like this character is not bad. He's pretty good. This guy. So like if you've got him, y you don't need this guy as well. Um, all right, so there's that um, and the tickets and stuff like that. Again, if you must summon, I, I would advise going for Harutagarn. Um, Harutagarn is also the one that has, yeah, orange Piccolo on his banner. Um, 23rd World Tournament Goku, I think, has really just completely fallen off um, in the JP Supreme Battle Spectacle meta. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. A, a lot of these characters have. It's It's... You have characters that are not have are just go, are just done. Pan, AGL Cell, like these characters suck, unfortunately. Uh, then there's peel off packs, Stone Sales, Kai's, uh, the Dokkan Awakening support campaigns. Glad they started doing this. This is awesome. New stage to the Super Saiyan Three Goku Dokkan event, and a new stage to the Harutagarn Dokkan event. Um, a new battlefield as well. Um, I believe about five or six months, and Global is going to be caught up. Um, so global is going to be on, yeah, it, it's going to be good. We're, we're moving towards the sink, right? I think the next battlefield global is actually supposed to get the GT cell and Frieza already, which is good. Uh, there's a burst mode for Namek Goku. I remember Namek Goku hitting very hard in there and that last phase Namek Goku, he could also double super, which could be problematic at times as well. Uh, there's the EZA right here. This is Tech Tapion's sub EZA. Um, I don't consider Tech Tapion to be very good. Um, using him, he just did not seem to really perform up to standards. And this was pre, uh, ninth anniversary when this guy came out in JP. And he, he, he just didn't really feel that crazy to me. Uh, just kind of like a weaker sub EZA type character. Uh, then, of course, there is the EZA Area Movie Edition, right? Where, you know, now they combine a bunch of these EZA Areas into one. Um, you know, this is this is where this is being introduced on Global, right? So, with this being introduced, by the way, I, I hope you guys have done all the old missions of the old one. Because then you just be able to double dip with stones and rewards and stuff like that. We have a bunch of just old story events and stuff returning. EZA Area returning. Uh, new Extreme Super Battle Road stage. We get the new Dragon Ball story. This is on the 9th. Uh, this in this will include the EZA for the free-to-play Kid Trunks, uh, who also is not very crazy, but he's there. Uh, and then they're bringing these up. Uh, so these were, you know, I, I guess it's kind of a weird mix because, like, JP's New Year's celebration went basically directly into the anniversary countdown. Um, so this is part of this New Year's celebration. So, all ten of these characters... Here, let's just pull it up right here. Uh, are going to be getting Dokkan Awakenings and Easy A's. Right? Uh, so, you have the two Int ones, the Tech ones, STR, EGL, and Physical. They're pretty solid. I would say all of them are solid. They were super busted, but then obviously the ninth anniversary uh, Power Creep hit. But, like, they definitely seem kind of solid. I I'll tell you all this. Summoning for some of these characters over Harudagarn and Super Saiyan 3 Goku is probably a good idea because the way it works is there's discounted... Okay, so every multi, you're guaranteed one of the two support characters. Uh, and it's I think it's three multis, guaranteed one of the support characters, and then it's only uh, 30 stones. So you could do a, a couple of multis and you could get these characters guaranteed. I, I think that's just... Like, these are super rare exclusive characters. I mean, the banners overall aren't the craziest, but again, hear what I'm saying. The multi guarantees you one of the two, and it's only 30 stones. I Like, that, I think, is probably better value than summoning on the Dual Dokkan Fest. I, I just don't... The banners themselves are just not good enough. Like, these characters... I, I mean, like, look at, look at this, bro. Too many of these spots in this banner... Like, this is a Dual Dokkan Fest. And it just really does not look that good. I, I, I just... I, I, it's not very good. Uh, then they get their own EZA area, so you could go ahead and EZA them, which is good. Uh, new Super Auto Road stage, and then that is it. The completion of the celebration info. Now... Okay. There is... I, I saw people freaking out. It was... 
Yeah, it was this. Sales reset on the 15th. So, I don't think Global is going to share, like, the Part 2 LR with JP. I don't think so. Just because Global already has two separate dual Dokkan Fests in April. But, at the same time, I mean, am I going to be shell-shocked if, like, who would maybe Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is the part 2 LR? I mean, what that would fit for both the theme of both celebrations. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks LR, it would just be so crazy for Global, right? Like, well, wait, when did these guys come out? They're on the 12th. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to do Dual Dokkan Fest. These five banners on the 12th. A Yellow Coin LR on, like, the 15th. And then another Dual Dokkan Fest on the 25th. Like, I know that, you know, things are going to accelerate as we move towards the sink. And there's going to be weird things happening. But I, I just don't see that happening. The Part 2 LR. I think where we easily could see the next character slid in kind of, like, early in between. So... Global always gets a Dokkan Fest, you know, like on the 1st, 31st, like like right here at the start of the month. Uh, typically, it is the character at the beginning of June who shows up. So that would be Frieza. And then typically, Global, the Part 2 LR is the April LR. So let's use Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as an example. He would slide in right there as well. Now, what I think can and will... Well, I don't want to say will, but I, what I think can happen... So... Global would get a Dokkan Fest, like, right around there. And they get, a, like, a, a Yellow Coin LR, like, what? Like, the, the 13th, 14th, like, 17th, like, sometime in that range. I think Global could get an extra character on, like, July 1st. Because the anniversary itself typically is, like, the 7th, 8th is when the characters come out. So I could see them slide in a character. That would be just like what they do with Rosé. Where, you know, it was, like, 17, 18... LR Ribrian, then they slid Rose in, and then after that was Gohan and Piccolo. I could see them doing something similar here um, with probably Topo, probably with Topo, but we will see. So let me know what you guys think of the global celebration info. Uh, remember, this celebration is on, and then global is going to move into a dual Dokkan Fest celebration, uh, Golden Week with JP at the end of the month. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.